If you're looking to start your own seeds, indoor or outdoor, you're gonna only need five items in order to get started. Here, I'm just gonna show you real quick what I currently use in order to start all my plants indoor. First, you're gonna need some type of a seed tray. This here is 128. You can get it pretty much anywhere online, you know, farmer supply, most of your big box store, but they come in different sizes. Again, this is 128. I know they can get much smaller, like in the 200s, as well as, you know, 72. Again, just depending on what you're looking to grow. I use 128. I also cut mine in order to allow to fit in this bottom tray, which has no holes in it, which I'll show in a second. But this here allows me to easily put soil in it because I use a smaller container that my soil sits in in order to fill in versus having the tray completely together as it normally would come. But again, all I do is just trim the edges so they sit in this tray and works well for me. The other piece here is this bottom tray. This has no holes in it. And this is, uh, the size escapes me, but again, most of your most of your any type of cells that you're using for growing your starting your season will fit in a this type of tray here and i'll link everything in my in the description down below so the other piece here is a humidity dome this again fits perfectly over this tray clear plastic very durable uh, i've had some that last for many years again humidity dome you're gonna need a sprayer. This has an adjustable knob on it so that you can easily water, you know, whether it's a narrow stream or wide spray. But again, a handheld sprayer, any would do, but these are really fairly inexpensive to, to own. And then the last piece is your seed mixing, your seed starting mix. This is a peat moss, co coconut core, and vermiculite. Again, if you're not trying to mix your own sea starting mix, this is super easy to work with. All you need to do is just add some water prior to putting it in your trays and you're ready to start planting your seeds. Again, these are the only five things that I use to get myself going in my garden. This works whether you're doing it indoor or outdoor and then obviously you just need some lighting in order to make sure your seeds will start germinating and grow hopefully you find this helpful if you think of anything else that i may be missing please share down below and thanks for watching peace